Good lord, it's a hot summer day outside. Hey there, Needles, handing out the end of the hallway. Freaked out because I'm talking to myself. Hey, you want to do some cooking, dog? Woo! Let's do it! Oh yeah, the kitchen is still kind of a mess. Holy shit. There's this stuff I need to clean. This is, look at this. And then there's like a bunch of waffle batter here from last night when I made waffles. And there's some chocolate chips too. Don't worry about any of this. I'll, this will get cleaned up later. Oh yeah, I'm also growing some plants. I got um, a hibiscus. Uh, these are tomatoes that look really sickly. And these are peppers. I picked my radishes today. Check this shit out. This is miserable. Um, I picked my radishes because they were like getting all big and blooming. And like, this was all that was there is just these <laughs> pathetic little dirty bulbs. Like what the, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so one thing, one thing I'm doing is I'm making mashed potatoes. And these potatoes are kind of old and like wrinkly, but, and they've got a bunch of eyes on them. But as long as you uh, cut them open and they're not they're not green on the inside, they're okay. See, it's just a little bit squishy, but like I'm I'm gonna boil them and mash them anyway. And if they're not green, they're fine. I'll probably cut this little spot here because that looks like it might be a bad spot, but they're fine otherwise, other than these nasty things. I hate these, they look gross. So you can cut them into qu quarters, like there, it's hard to do this one-handed. And then you go, uh, and then you cut these like, like that. There you go, and then you put them in a pan. You just keep putting them in the pan until like, until the pan can't really hold anymore. You can make as many mashed potatoes as you want because you're probably gonna eat them all because mashed potatoes are fucking great. I don't, I don't, Peel my potatoes, because I like the skins. It gives them some weird kind of dirty flavor that I like. Some people, you can you can peel your mashed potatoes if you're a coward, but like, I'm not, I'm incredibly brave. So one thing I want to show you guys is that eating good doesn't have to be expensive. Look at this thing. Moist and tender. Boneless pork tenderloin. Sounds fancy. This whole five pound roast, well, 4.48 pound roast, cost uh, $9.82 for two bucks a pound. This son of a bitch is gonna feed you for a long time. The big old fat boy and we're gonna cook it. Oh, gross. Oh, it's in the, oh, I got dirt on it from the radishes, shit. No, my hands are, shit. Always remember to wash your meat off, especially if you get dirt on it. Okay. I'm taking. Ah! I got raw pork juice in my mouth. I'm trying to get this glove off. Oh! Okay. Once you get your pork, once you get your pork out of the gross package, ugh! Look at this big fat boy. Slap it a couple times. Let it know you love it. Uh, we're not gonna fuck with this too much. I gotta get this fucking shit out of my way. It's driving me fucking bonkers. Needles! I need you to help me clean the kitchen, buddy. Okay, I did some of the dishes. We're cool now. Let's get back to our meat. Um, I've got this oil that has blood orange infused in it. You can use any oil. I just happen to have some, some fancy oil. And we're gonna, hold on, I set the phone down. Look, look at this. Just put a little on there, a couple tablespoons. Don't go crazy. This is the good stuff, so you don't want to waste it. Also, when you're doing a YouTube show, you want to keep one, one dirty hand, see it's got grease on it, and one clean hand for seasoning. Um, so that's salt and pepper. That's all I'm putting on this sucker is the red, blood orange, oil, salt and pepper. That's it! You kind of, I need to take this glove off. So I can demonstrate. Just grab a bunch of it and put it on there. Go, go fucking nuts. Cause a lot of this is gonna cook off. So just go wild. And then you're gonna put, you're gonna take a gloved hand and just kind of rub all that in. 
but it's hard to do holding the camera, so I'm gonna hit stop. Oh, I also put some garlic powder on there. Okay, now I'm gonna rub it down. Okay, uh, preheat the oven, two, three, 25, start. It's going. It's not really 150 degrees in there instantly. Uh, you're gonna take your meat, and I have fashioned ugh, this rack. Um, this is probably a fire hazard, because this thing is kind of wobbly. But I'm gonna leave it in there in this Pyrex pan, and this is gonna go in the oven once it's heated up for just under two hours, because it's four pounds, and rule of thumb for pork is 25 minutes per pound to get it to an internal temperature of about 145, which is medium rare for pork. Uh, you want it a little pink in the inside, don't be a coward. They say 160, 145 is safe. So do that. And to do that, you can use, I've got a meat thermometer, a digital one. It's set to pork and it says 160. Coward. Just stick it in the thickest part in the middle. This is hard to do with one hand too, so hang on. Just do that and then put it in the oven. All right, it's been about an hour. Uh, we put some hot water on the potatoes. Always, always, always salt anything you were going to boil. Not a whole lot, you don't need a ton, but always put some salt in that water. Uh, let's check on the pork. It's registering an internal temperature of about 104 degrees. Let's look at it. It's turning kind of gray, which is good. Not a whole lot dripping out into the pan on the bottom, which is awesome. Um, yeah, it's doing good. It's been in there for about an hour. Um, hit the heat, woo, on the potatoes. Let them boil for a while. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it, you just wait. So much of cooking is just standing around waiting, right? Like, just kind of walk outside and take in the view, and oh shit. Check it out. It's that egret. We got an egret that hangs out at the little pond out here. I fucking hate that thing. It's got like a scary looking neck. It's always like just walking around eating stuff. Needles. We don't trust that old egret, do we? Here, check this out. My dude's becoming natural at this shit. Watch. I need a ice cube. This one, thank you. Okay, you ready for this dude? Okay, are you gonna catch it? Catch! Oh yeah, first try! Needles, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna show everybody that after that piss poor performance last time, whoop, two ice cubes. Okay, here we go, you ready? Catch! Oh, second one on the first try. You're incredible. All right, Needles, now can you do two, two, two tricks at once? Can you sit? All right, catch it! Ho ho! Needles. Boop! Oh! I decided to get crazy and turn the oven up to 425 to see what would happen. Um, it's registering an internal temperature of 107, so it's getting there. Uh, potatoes are starting to get foamy. They're not boiling yet, but they look real gross. Okay, I checked one of these earlier. I'm gonna check. Another one. It's... Good lord, I'm turning the heat down. This is really hard to do while you're looking at a camera. Uh... Yeah, those are mashable. Ow, fuck, they're really hot. Oh my god, it's 150! And the potatoes are done, I guess. Let's, let's get this sucker out of the oven. Oh my god! Okay, I know what you're thinking. You're, you're saying, Oh, mamma mia, I can't wait for you to slice this pork roast. Oh, mangia, mangia, you are too skinny. But here's the thing, don't cut it yet. You gotta let it rest. Any meat that you cook, you let it rest. That allows all the juices inside to get reincorporated back into the meat. So this is a perfect time for us to finish making our mashed potatoes. Wah. First things first, get rid of all the water. The water's your enemy here, get rid of it. None of it. Get one of these things that has a snowflake on it so you don't fuck up the countertop with a hot pan. Uh, I bet you can get one without a snowflake on it and it'll be fine, but I don't know what those are called. Uh, put those in there. 
You're gonna wanna do some pepper. Man, that was a lot of pepper. I'm gonna put more, I like pepper. <laughs> I forgot to get the salt over here, so I'll put the salt in. That's enough salt, sure. Okay, so I don't like my potatoes too, like, soupy. So I only put like a little bit of milk in there. Uh, a little more than that, maybe. Uh, then you want to put in some uh, good old fashioned uh, some butter. Like, <laughs> is that how you get butter out of there? <laughs> Whatever. And this is a little secret your mama never told you. Just a little bit of sour cream. Don't go wild, but put that there. <laughs> uh, you can use one of these stupid things, but like. I'm super fucking lazy. So, egg beater, go! Oh god, oh shit, I need two hands for this, sorry. There they go, baby! Woo! Okay, they're done. Those are done. They look pretty good. Here, here's a tip. Get all the potatoes off your beaters like that, and they fly all over your fucking shirt. And finally, before we cut our, um, our main attraction, I think a green vegetable would do some good. So, um, just peas. Okay, I've got my phone delicately balanced on a spoon for the big reveal. So here we go. I'm gonna chop into this sucker. Y'all ready for this? Boom! Perfectly cooked pork all the way through with a little hole in the middle from the, from the thermometer. Look! It's fucking, hold on, we, why didn't I cut this like a regular human being where it's just like a nice slice? Um, yeah, there you go. Delicious. Perfect. A little overcooked because I like mine about 145. It got up to about 155 or so, but whatever. It's juicy as fuck. It's going to be amazing. Um, slap that meat. I'm, I'm, I hate the, that's all good. I'm watching E3, too, because that's a thing that's going on. It's, I, I talk about video games on this channel a lot. It's a video game. <laughs>